tell me a little bit about the plain janes so i know the the plain janes is a story about four girl named named jane yep and uh, how did that book kind of come to be? What was the uh, the process? So uh, so it started off with me. The, uh, the artist is Jim Rugg, who's amazing. If you haven't checked out his Street Angel comics, he's just incredible. Um, so it came about where... Uh, you know, Shelly said, "Do you have any? Yeah, do you have any ideas?" And I had this, I had this sort of stray idea that was about four girls in a lunchroom, who one girl thinks that they're the cool table, but all of the other girls think that they're at the loser table, and they want to go to like the art table or the the sport table or the drama table or the science table because I I really think that like um, there's no such thing as cool. There are a lot of cliques, and there's the coolest in that clique. And so I wanted it to be four girls who didn't want to be at the table they were at, but at a, ta- a different table, but they were all very different. So from that idea, and I didn't know what it was. It didn't feel like a novel to me. Um, I thought maybe it would be. It was like a cartoon, like an animated show or something, but I didn't know anything about that. But when Shelly called me and we talked, I realized that it could be a, a, a great comic book. And so... Um, so we shifted the idea a little bit, and it's the story of this girl, Jane Beckles, who um, is in a terrorist attack in a, in a fictional city in America, um, And uh, because I wanted it to be unspecified. And I never say what happened, because, you know, we know that it can yeah, <laughs> literally it can be, be anybody. Yeah. You know, it could be aliens, you yeah. know. Um, and so... Uh, 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 and that her parents freak out and they decide to move her to um, the suburbs. And in order to deal with her trauma of, uh, you know, um, her PTSD from being in a bombing, um, she decides to make an attack be something beautiful and starts doing Banksy style street art, you know, um, and forms a group called Plain, uh, People Loving Art in Neighborhoods. And they start doing these sort of art, art attacks and stuff. And the conceit in the book is that all the girls are named Jane. And, um, and so there's still that dynamic where, like, they're all, like, you know, one is sporty Jane and one is, uh, you know, science Jane and one is theater Jane. And, yeah. And it's cool because I think, you know, especially at that age when you're in school, I think part of growing up is never feeling like you fit in. Yeah. You know, and absolutely. Feel, feeling like you want to be something else and you can be something else. Yeah. But it's just if you only had that opportunity to go there and. You know, it's like I, I think it's always a search for something better. You know? Yeah. And I think that's something that really resonates with young people. Yeah. Well, and I also think that like when you're when you're writing young, um, young characters, I'm sure you know this, too. It's like they're trying to figure out what kind of an adult they're going to be. And so they're kind of throwing down, you know, um, to figure out what kind of a human being they're going to be. You know, what is good? What is bad? What, what, where is my moral compass? Like all that stuff. So that's very, very rich for a writer that time period to talk about. Also. For a teenager, everything is the end of the world, right? Like a pimple on your nose is the end of the world. Yeah. And that's not, it really is yeah. the end of the world, yeah. you know? And you're feeling everything for the first time. So it's just like, I just love writing um, for uh, for young people like that. So that was on DC Comics because it was part of this Minx line. Mm-hmm. But the Minx line is long ago defunct. Um, and it's at, Jim and I are actually doing a third book. We got the rights back from DC and it's coming out again next January, January 20. Um, 2020. That's nice. Where is it yeah. going to be distributed? On, what? At Little Brown, Little which Brown. is yeah, which is a publishing book publishing company. Oh nice. And so yeah. So you're so. going to go through through their publishing line and yeah. take it out and, and yeah. you're going to do a tour. I'm sure at uh, oh, yes, everywhere. Please. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Hello, Little Brown. Take me on tour. <laughs> I love it. 